Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today's video is another Forza Thon guide where I show you all the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forza Thon challenges. Now this week's one is a pretty cool one, it's called Warning Danger to Manifold and I'm sure we all know what film that's from and it wants you to use the 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX to complete all of its challenges. Now they are quite lengthy but they are fairly easy but we'll get into this anyway now the first thing you've got to do is obviously pick out the car so the 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX will set you back 25,000 credits from the auto show or you can always pick it up in the auction house but it's available to everyone in the auto show and I don't think it would be complete without the Fast and Furious livery on it. Now I always say that a tune helps and I have two here for you but the one that I'm using is with a stock 2 litre engine and the share code for that is 117068726. Now it has of course been tuned but there's another one there if you really want to go bonkers with over a thousand brakes horsepower now the first challenge here wants you to win six street scene events which is actually pretty easy to be honest so first of all i just filtered the street scene races to pick one out now the one that i went with is batham gate because it's the one i use a lot and of course if you continue using the same one you get to learn the course and it gives you a bit of an advantage over the uh, ai driver tars now what you must know of course with street scene events is you will not necessarily be racing against similar cars so chances are you'll have Lamborghinis, Ferraris in there, all sorts of high powered cars up against you so don't be afraid to turn the difficulty down a bit if you are struggling against the AI. Like I said the tune I'm using is using a stock 2 litre engine which has been tuned but I have got an engine swapped one with over a thousand brake horsepower if you want something a bit quicker to give you that extra edge but just beware obviously you'll be up against tougher AI driver tires so if you need to turn the difficulty down don't be afraid to. Now all you have to do is win six of these events like I said it is fairly easy you can always change things up a bit by doing different street scene events but I think that using the same one over and over again gives you a bit of an advantage because you learn where everything is where all the corners are where you need to break and obviously it just makes life a little bit easier so really it's a pretty easy first challenge it's just a bit time consuming it will probably set you back about 10 minutes if that now we're going to move on to the second challenge here which just wants you to win five drag strip events which again is really really easy this one won't take too long at all and you don't need to change difficulty or do anything special so all you want to start by doing is filtering your drag strip races now i went to the horizon festival drag strip because it's the most convenient one at the end of the street scene event but you can use any of them if you want to get it over and done with quickly i just reckon hitting up the horizon festival drag strips the quickest and easiest thing to do and again you don't need to change difficulty for this one to be honest so i'm always racing on expert and regardless of tune you pretty much always got it in the bag when it comes to drag races they're really really nice and easy this one took i think 11 seconds to complete so really if you put it about 30 seconds per race 40 maybe including loading times you'll be able to knock that one out in less than five minutes now the final challenge here wants you to earn five show off skills which may be easy it really depends on which race you pick now a show off skill in essence is a drifting skill combined with an overtake skill at the same time and then you'll get your show off skill so it can be easy like i said it depends on what race you use but i'll go through it in a bit more depth in a second now first of all you've got to pick the race so i always go for the moorhead wind farm for really quick challenges like this but you can use any race you want really i'd recommend doing a circuit one but you can use sprints if you want you've just got to make sure that there are plenty of corners involved like i said i went for the moorhead wind farm circuit but you can really go for any of them and again if you're struggling with this challenge i recommend turning the difficulty down if you need to but again of course i'm doing this on expert now first of all you want to initiate your drift when it comes to a show off skill so the way to do it is to enter a drift and then get the pass skill it won't count if you get the pass skill before the drift skill it won't show up as a show off skill now it doesn't really matter if it's a really short drift or a long one as long as you get a bit of a drift going before you overtake as you can see here very very short one really quick overtake and the show off skill pops up there so it's not too difficult to be honest but there's a few other tips that I can show you. So the other thing to do is, <laughs> say it weirdly, stalk your prey. So steer, stay behind the car that's in front of you, start getting a couple of drafting skills. And as they're approaching the bend, 
slow down, sort of start braking a little later than they are, just about to go around them. And before they enter the turn, you want to initiate your drift to go around them. As you saw back there, you can always rewind it when I overtook that gold Nissan 350Z. But the good thing about this course is there is a lot of sweeping bends as well, which means it's fairly easy to get an overtake skill. And don't be afraid if you do cock it up, as you just saw there. I ended up going off. And if you miss a checkpoint, because the show off skill will still pop up at the end of the day. And if you slam into another car, as long as it pops up, it's really not a big issue. So <laughs> from this video, you probably see a couple of dirty ones, a couple of dirty overtakes and drifts. But at the end of the day, as long as you get the five show off skills, that's all that matters. And like I said, there's a good variety of bends in this race, some nice long sweeping ones. And the course isn't too narrow either. So it will be quite easy to get the show off skills on this one. So again, start your drift before you go to overtake. And then obviously, as you're drifting past them, you'll get the, the drift skill pop up first and then the pass skill, and then it will follow up with the show off skill. So it's not too difficult, but if you are struggling, you can always comment down below and I can give you a bit more advice try and help you out with where you're sort of lagging behind and of course try changing the difficulty as well that may help or even convert the car to rear wheel drive of course stock it's all wheel drive but if you want to try something different you can always rear wheel drive convert it anyway folks i hope this video has helped you out if you are like i said struggling with anything just say so down below in the comments i will always reply to you guys and i will always try and help you out as best as i can but apart from that if it did help you out i would very much appreciate it if you could drop a like and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more as well. But I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care, folks.